And we're videoing. Let's, let's go over here and dry. Well, well, we'll just try it right Stop video. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a little background on this video. This is a, actually a series of videos that I put together on how to build a, a three inch quad, Marty 140 quad. It actually is a three inch quad, 140 millimeter wheelbase. I didn't want to do a video like everybody else does where it all, you know, where they order twice the parts and everything just sort of works out. I'm going to show you uh, how I went about building this 140 uh, millimeter 3 inch uh, wheelbase quad that I have called Marty. Okay. In our previous build, we had gotten the motors going on our Marty build here on our three inch build we got the uh, the motors going the fly controller and the ESC install we still don't have our good uh, XT60 connector here but we're going to continue using this one until the other one comes in the mail uh, it shouldn't be forever getting here but we're going to go ahead we're going to install a buzzer you'll notice I've gone ahead and put the standouts on here to, get a, to give us a good idea of uh, where everything's going to go and we're getting down to the bottom of this build the nitty gritty uh, and we're running out of space and I've already kind of test fit everything I kind of know where everything's going to go but this one's going to be a real quick one uh, let's get the buzzer here we've got a, it's a I'm trying to find the JB here we go we've got a JBE 42B finder built with a built in lithium battery it's also going to serve as an external buzzer so uh, the battery automatically charges itself so what we've got here is on this flight controller we have the buzzer is negative and the buzzer is positive and we have a 5 volt excuse me we have two grounds right here and then we have two 5 volts above the two grounds but we're, we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the buzzer positive which is going to be the red wire let me go ahead and show you the buzzer here We got this buzzer right here that's going to go on there, and it's going to go right back here. I've already kind of test fit everything, uh, but it's going to go right back here like this. And these three wires are going to come up around through here. Actually, I think I want to go this way with it. We can either go this way. Anyways, the buzzer is going to sit right back here. And we're going to run this wire right up through here and we're not going to cut any of it off we're going to use it just kind of like this so we can kind of route around everything and then we're going to put the so we got a we got a red black and a green wire and these are the three wires that we need the red wire goes to the buzzer positive the green wire goes to the buzzer negative and this black wire goes to the ground so they're going to go right in here and we're going to solder those in first so we can hold this up and then we're going to take this piece of tape and we're going to put it on this and we're going to put it right down in here and then the VTX is going to lay right up here on the top or maybe it's on the other side let's test that real quick so we're running out of real estate real quick and so I just want to double check this is the VTX we're going to use right here. I just pulled it out of the box. But the VTX is going to go, yeah, right in there. 
and we're going to turn the receiver part of it up that way the heat dissipates off I know we're going to have a hard time being able to get to this button and seeing these numbers but we should the way the stack is we can put some nylon uh, screws right there on the top let me move this light so that it quits putting a shadow where I'm working so I can put this stuff up here and not get a shadow okay so like I was saying we can put some nylon screw uh, bolts and help that stay right there top of the stack and then maybe we can put a little piece of, I don't know we gotta probably gonna strap this to the top to give it a little space in there so that this can breathe and so that this can breathe but the antenna is gonna come right down this side over here um, as you see and so if I put the buzzer over there it's gonna kinda sit up on top of the buzzer and that'll kind of hold everything, kind of wedge everything in there. And that's going to put this on the inside. Reset button will be further in that way. This will be further out, and I don't like that. So we're going to set it this way so that the wires are further in, and the antenna is going to go across there. And this wire will go up in there. So that's how we're going to do it. So uh, well, I guess let's just get to it. Make sure we get everything put where it goes. And we're going to have to make sure we leave enough of the VTX. But alright, so that's on there. I guess all that leaves us with now is to test it out and see see if we get a beep out of it when we hook the battery up. Or if it smokes on us. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Let's get our battery leads. 
negative. Where's the positive? Positive. We'll plug this XT60 in. Ah, hear it? All right, got our buzzer installed. Can I hear it? My little helper showed up. You heard all that beeping. Alright guys, in the next video I guess we'll go ahead and get the VTX situated and get it soldered in here and get it hooked up. I guess until next time guys, uh, take it easy. It will be more interesting with the goggles on. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> Get it high off the ground. There, don't follow it. Why? You get seriously hurt with this. Hold on. Stop video.